Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're going to be playing some more The Sims 4. We're back in Castle Lutenstein, where last time we finished the outside of our house. We put all this nice detail work on the outside, these trims. We also finished the roof and put a nice chimney on. I've also, in between episodes, just put down a little entranceway here. Nothing too exciting, just a couple of bushes and some flooring. But it just makes the house look a bit more connected to the outside world, to this path outside. Look at these people, these scrubs of nature with their short shorts and stupid hats, standing outside our house and admiring the work that we have done. But since last time, we've not actually done that much. I have... Um, <laughs> so since last time, we haven't actually done that much. Downstairs, um, I have added another room. I'll tell you why in a minute. But today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on our nice room here. A few things have happened off screen. Um, I have actually already tried to record this once. Unfortunately my computer screwed up slightly and I had to undo everything I did which was a bit of a pain. So I have got a few things in my inventory and I kind of know what I'm doing with this room already so I do apologize if it seems a bit um, scripted which it sh hopefully it shouldn't um, but I have already done this once. So we need to make this into a room again because as I said unfortunately um, I undid everything that I, ha I did last time when I tried to record. So here we go, here's our room. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put down our nice wallpaper. And I think what I'm going to go with is this. And the main reason is, if you try and use this one with the nice blocky uh, sort of corner trim on it, on the inside wall, you don't get any detail in the corners. But with this one you get these sort of two nice lines of trim, which I quite like. So in my inventory I have got a lot of stuff. Now this is all the stuff that I've decided to put in here, excluding some of this other stuff here. Um, but yeah, we, we've got a lot of stuff that we're going to put down. We are also today going to be focusing on the hallway because you guys left a load of really, really good feedback in the comment section last time. We are going to put a knight overlooking the corridor. We're going to make him silver because the guy up, the knight upstairs in the Dungeons and Dragons corner is gold. So we, we need a different coloured knight, you can also be conflicting slightly. Conflicting, fighting for power. Okay, so we're going to have a knight there. One of your biggest suggestions also, I'm jumping all over the place a bit, but please forgive me, we'll get some direction in a minute. Also in the comments you said that you wanted to see a load of pictures down here, which we can do. I've got a few pictures in mind, uh, we're going to put them up in between all of these oil lamps because, well, it's nice and symmetrical and it looks pretty cool anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down one of these pictures, maybe over here. Who knows, because I'm doing this for the second time, I might end up doing it a lot better than before. So we're going to put this picture maybe here like this. One of the things I also want to do is I want to put down a couple of side tables. Let's get some tables up. Accent tables, and the ones that I decided to go with, I know it seems a bit undungeon-y having these sort of things down here. Makes it seem more like a house, but it's fine. We can make the corridor. It's like it's tricking our guests into a false sense of security. They come down into the dungeon, they're like, oh, this is nice. And then they, they walk up to one of these tables and they're attacked by a spooky ghost, or we put them in the, the torture chamber. I don't know, but <laughs> that's the basic idea here. Maybe we can move this down one. And I think, what else did we have? We had a few of these other tables dotted around. Now the main reason for this is because I want to put down some statues lining the wall. Unfortunately, a lot of the statues in this game don't actually allow you to place down... Uh, you're not allowed to put them on the floor, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down some nice tables like this. I think we're going to put one maybe over here. It's not very centred though, is it? I guess that's centred. And maybe another one over here. I think that's a pretty good spread. Okay, and then in terms of the statues, one thing I didn't realise in this was that... Oh, did I completely misspell that? Statues. One of the things that I didn't realise when I, I reversed all the things that I had done when I recorded this before was that when you, when you sell things, you don't get back as much money as when you first put it in. So we're definitely going to have a Princess Cordelia Royal Bust here, and I think we're going to make her grey, just to fit in a bit more... And there was another one which I spotted earlier, which was absolutely fantastic. So we're going to go for a, a gnome, and it is the spookiest gnome you have ever seen. His name is Norman the Gnome, or um, Nigel, something beginning with the N sound. I think that sounds pretty good. So we're going to have him there guarding this end of the corridor. 
And then we just need some more paintings in general. So let's have a little look into the paintings menu. Paintings and posters. And we're going to grab some, hopefully with some gold frames, because these are the classy ones. They look more like they fit into the world. And we want nice big ones as well. None of those small scrubby ones. So we want a big, nice painting there. That's pretty cool. And then maybe some of these other ones. Alpine piece. Go for that. We could also go for one of these. It's not very big, though. I guess this one's big enough for here. Go for another jazz man, but I think we've already got enough of those. And all the rest partic aren't particularly uh, great. Oh, well, you can get, like, decal stickers. Now, one of the main reasons, and just because I found these and I don't want to... I don't want to lose them before next time. But one of the main things that we're going to have this as is for our gym. Now, our gym is obviously going to be in this room, but my idea was that we're going to have a nice shower room. Obviously unisex, because Thorandrianian isn't going to have any female company anytime soon. And maybe he will, because you actually have said that you'd like some more company in the house, another character of some kind. So maybe we will eventually get another lady friend. We could even make her, that might be fun. And then she can live here with us. But my idea was that we're going to have like a, a very public sort of style uh, shower room in here with like a line of showers here and uh, maybe some benches in the middle and lockers. I don't even know if there are lockers in this, but it's something that we can look into in the future. So that's what we're going to go with. And that just fits perfectly, those decal stickers. So we're going to go with those. Okay, so let's see if we can get one more picture on here. I guess we can go for this small one. It's not very imposing. We could do some more down here as well. In fact, if we use the jazz player, I don't think we have yet. Okay, well, let's use the jazz player. This is a nice big painting. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put it on this wall like that. Perfect. So this seems like enough paintings for now. I want to save a bit more money in case we need to put anything else down in here. But the next big thing to do in the gym is to put down the flooring. And I've come to the conclusion that I could have put down wooden flooring because a lot of gyms that I've been to have wooden flooring in them. Not that I've been to that many gyms. God, don't get me wrong. I'm not a gym nut by any means. I've got a lovely... um. <laughs> Lovely 70-inch waistline right now. I'm joking. I'm not actually that fat. But we are going to go for a nice stone floor. And this floor here seemed to have nice detail in it, so we're going to go with this one. We also need to grab all the lamps, lamps to put in here, even. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them either side of the door, as standard. Okay, so I think that's probably enough lights. Now, you might notice that I've not put any lights on this wall, but that's because I've got some really good plans for this stuff. I have a few things in my inventory that I've got. Oh, I've got a spare oil lamp, but that's cool. What we've got is a large variety of stuff. Now, of course, in every gym that I've ever been to, again, I'm just basing this on England's gyms. I don't know how similar they are everywhere. But, of course, you need a massive wall mirror so that you can admire your um, beefy pecs or whatever you're working on. Because, <laughs> of course, you're not a real man unless you have boobs the size of a woman, right? So we're going to go with these. Right, so here we go. Now the next thing that I was thinking was that we were going to have some running machines. If you actually look in the exercise part of this in Active, there's quite a few machines that you can choose from. A few of them are locked out, however. There's the Zen exercise weight machine, which requires you to have level 6 in the athlete career. And also we've got the uh, treadmill, which is to do with athletes as well. And there's some other stuff as well. There's um, a few things, like for some reason there's like a criminal branch with um, a punch bag for that. It's very strange. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a few of these things. We've got a treadmill. Of course all gyms have a lot of treadmills all lined up together and we've also got a load of different lifting machines. Do you even lift me? Or whatever. I don't, I don't know what they even say anymore. Them kids. Damn kids! <laughs> okay, whatever. We're going to put this down. And of course, uh, this, this is in two different colours in case we're feeling one day particularly red or blue. I, I don't know. Whatever. We're, we're just going to go with this. And also we've got a load of ribbons. And I think there's nothing more motivating than... Oh, these aren't very centred, are they? That's a bit better. There's nothing more motivating than looking at all of your rewards. Because of course, when you slay a dragon in the fancy world or whatever, um, behead a witch, you get a ribbon. The mayor comes out and just hands you a little pink ribbon, a little green ribbon. This one's for killing a troll, the blue. And you're not a proper adventurer unless you have all of these things. So we're going to display these very proudly on our wall here. And in fact, we could do with one more, just to 
balance this out to make it symmetrical because my god I can't stand that sort of thing there we go perfect now oh, what's this like a tube sign that's pretty cool I didn't even know some of this stuff was in here katana sign what the hell? oh my god that's incredible maybe we should have like a bar room oh my god yes we can have an outside bar area and put all these cool signs up. Okay, that's a perfect idea. We're going to do that. So I'm getting very excited. So let's get into this again. So the next thing we're going to put down is probably the punch bag. Because everyone needs to take their anger, their aggression out on a punch bag every now and again. Especially if you live with my girlfriend. I'm joking. God, don't ever repeat that. <laughs> It's more like the other way around. So then we're going to put another one down here because, again, I'm a bit of a stickler for having multiple things of the same kind but in different colours. It's like that thing with men, isn't it? You buy, like, ten shirts in this in different colours, but they're just the same shirt over and over again. But yeah, that, that's the thing. I, I don't personally do that. In fact, that's not true. There's this nice um, brand... That, oh, God, I'm not going to go into this. It's ridiculous. Whatever. So we can... <laughs> I feel completely all over the place today. So we put down this weight machine. What even is this one? I don't even know. We're going to go for one of these, a crunching machine. That's for the abs or something, isn't it? I think. I definitely know what I'm talking about. And also we got one of these, a, a multi-purpose something or other. It looks gym-like, so that's good. In fact, these two look exactly the same, except for this one has different pads on it. It's a bit odd. Okay, and there's a couple of other things that I would like to do in here. Of course, if you're at the gym, you need some pumping tunes to get you through your workout session. So I think what we're going to do is, I found this really epic one, the Landlord Whisperer. Pump up the volume on this puppy and you'll know the Landlord's on his way. So we built in a special audio therapy track that only Landlords can hear. Rock like a banshee with your friends while your Landlord sleeps away. So yeah, this is specifically designed not to upset your landlord, which is pretty cool. And it looks pretty epic as well. So the next thing, I also found this uh, little pile of sports equipment, which I thought would fit down here somewhere. Let's see if we, if we put it near the door, that might be cool. Maybe, yeah, I, I think just facing like this. We could put it somewhere else, maybe in the corner over there would look a bit better, as there isn't anything over here. Yeah, maybe like that. That seems good. I don't really want to overclutter this room anymore because I feel as though we've got enough in here to keep the Randrianian fit. Unfortunately, because I haven't had an oven for so long in this game, it's meant that the Randrianian has been living off of salads and oatmeal, and that's about it. He hasn't had much of a varied diet. He's put on a load of weight. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, he's got a bit of an oatmeal belly, not a beer belly, because he doesn't have any drinks, but whatever. So that's a thing, an oatmeal belly and a salad belly. I'm pretty sure it'd be quite difficult to get fat on salad, but we don't know what he puts in it. He might put, like, the dismembered limbs of small children in his salad, or, because, you know, they're quite fatty, or, like, a dragon's tongue, which I've heard beef you up quite a lot. I, I have no idea. But what, <laughs> what am I on about? But one of the things that we're going to do also is we need to sort out this bathroom. I was only going to do this a little bit if we had enough time but I seem to got through what I did last uh, recording session quite quickly so what we're going to do is we're going to start figuring out what we're doing in here I don't want to use the oil lamps in the shower room because frankly they don't look like something that would be in a shower room I love these, I can't believe they've got such cool stuff in The Sims haven't they they've really expanded the stuff that you can put down it's really good Oh, look at this. Because we actually leveled up in the writing career, level 8, we've actually got a nice nom de plume. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. So we can put this upstairs. <laughs> oh, dear. In our writing desk, because this is excellent stuff. Here we go. Look at that. We've got the ancient books. Nice quill and quiver. A, qu a quill and quiver. That's two completely separate things, Parky. But that's all for now. Right, so what else have we actually got in here? We've got some random curtains and stuff. Nothing particularly useful for downstairs. But what we can do is we can start figuring out what we're doing in here. So I think the first things we need is some lighting. I'm now beginning to wonder whether the pool light would be a good one to go for. I wonder what sort of things they've got in here. These look pretty cool. They're not very... Not very friendly looking, are they? Oh, we could get some nice... Oh, yeah, okay. So we're going to get some floor lights like this, maybe in the corner of the room. Not sure how much money we're going to have to play with with this, but it's okay. 
and maybe we can put down a few more, just like this for now. Maybe just one in the middle of those two. Perfect. So this is what we've got. And we're also going to get some wall lights as well, because I feel as though we're probably going to need them. Maybe go for a couple up here. Let's see if they've got any more like proper wall lights instead of these poor ones. Outdoor lights. Maybe the outdoor ones will look a bit better. Oh, I like these ones. I know they're outdoor lights, but they look really good, don't they? In fact, because I've just spotted this, I really want these outside our front door. I know we weren't going to focus on the outside of the building yet, but I feel like I almost have to. These are really cool. They're quite big though, aren't they? Well, maybe we can put a couple on either side of our building. There we go. God, they are massive! What the fuck? Okay, well, whatever. That'll, that'll do. We can go back downstairs. Oh, look, we can do a sub-sub basement. That's interesting. If we ever need to expand even more, maybe make an evil lair downstairs, we could do that. Okay, let's find some wall walling for in here. We want some tiles, I think. I think the floor definitely needs to be the classic tile setup. We could go for a dark wall at the back and a dark wall here for the door because I don't like using the same wall for everything. And we could just use white tiles or we could go for something a bit more like this. And I think this looks good. Maybe something like that. We definitely need some more lighting in here. So let's focus on what I was actually doing before this. Misc lighting. Wall lighting. Okay, what have we got here? Athena shield wall sconce. This looks better. So I think what we'll do is we'll go for these in here. So we'll get a couple of these on all the walls. Maybe one in the middle like this and replicate it over here like that. Nice mood lighting in here. Okay, next up is the floor. And of course we're going to go for some nice tiles. And I feel as though we should... Oh, these are nice. Go for a nice modern look. Alternatively, we could go for something like this. But I don't really... I'm not sure if I like those. Oh god, this is really garish. I think we might go for that. Because that looks too modern. Okay, yeah. I like that flooring. So let's just have a quick look, even if we don't manage to do it this episode, at some of the things that we can put in here. So we want to shop by room, probably. Go for the shower room. I know that we said that we were going to avoid the showering, but uh, maybe we can just do it down here. We could get a load of random shower stalls like this, but I feel as though we should get at least some nice ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down quite a few of these, frankly. Do we not have any open showers? That's a bath with a shower. There aren't really any that I thought would look exactly how I wanted. I imagine like um, just like shower railings across the top with uh, like a, a rail and a shower curtain. But I guess you can't have everything you want. So we've got eight showers and we've got six dollars left. So I think this is probably as far as we're going to get with the shower room for now. Uh, as I said, I want to put down some benches in the middle, perhaps, and maybe in between these lights, that would be perfect, and then some stuff on the wall for storage. But I think for now, I'm going to have to get some more money in between episodes. And I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who left their comments last episode. Your inspiration certainly inspired me. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could leave some more feedback as to how you'd like me to lay out the dungeon slash loot room and maybe whether you could give me your feedback on what my idea for this room is. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a rating and also tell your friends because it really helps out the series and my channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward.